Hi, and welcome back to Holistic Developer Channel. I'm Anna, the host of this channel. This week it will be kind of a, a quickly <laughs> a vlog style video because it was an extremely busy video, <sighs> busy week. I didn't have time to do a proper video. So this is the best I can. So that's the only thing I can do this week. So really quickly, I'm on my way for my morning run. It's about five and ish I am and I'm about to, to run and what I wanted to do is that I didn't want to skip the video this week I didn't want to skip it because the channel hit an important milestone or the next milestone and that is that we reached 3,000 subscribers which is insane and I'm extremely grateful for every single one of you for making it and considering it being a good good use of your time so <laughs> i cannot speak as always i'm tongue-tied um really quickly i'll go in into my run um and afterwards <laughs> when i will be cooling down um, i will be sharing with you a few things like what can you expect uh, what are the upcoming videos that i'm planning to do what are the changes in my life i have a new job a different role what are the challenges my schedule and stuff like that so yeah, I'll be back after the run. Okay, so I just finished running. I'm sure I'm bred before that I was in the video was sleepy, but it is what it is. This is just the reality. This is just me. And I'm giving you a glimpse of my Saturday morning. So this is on my way where I run. The view is just, I don't know, amazing. On the way here, I, I had rabbits riding right with me. I ran past a few horses I love running in the morning and actually I'm faster in the morning I just proved it over and over again so sorry for me trying to catch my breath so probably probably makes sense for me to catch my breath and then continue with the video but I wanted to show you just this small gem that I enjoy every single time the clouds I cannot express in words how beautiful the sunsets are here uh, the sunrises it's just every day they are different every day they're unique like snowflakes they are unique and we are all unique somebody enjoys that somebody doesn't but let me catch my breath and I'll sit down and I'll talk about what I promised. Hello bunny. Thank you for running with me today. It was really nice to join me. I really like a running buddy. Or running rabbit <laughs> thank you now to what I promised uh, to talk about but first again I want to thank every single one of you for subscribing for your comments for watching the videos for challenging me with your comments as well like uh, saying that sometimes you don't agree with me sometimes you disagree which is completely fine and I won't change that for anything because we all have different opinions and we all have our own ways of seeing the world and we experience things differently. So every opinion matters. So thank you. Continue to share your thoughts with me, regardless if you agree or disagree, that's welcomed. So with updates on my life or professional life, let's say, um, I shared in the previous videos that I, I I work at, in a new place, but I didn't share the fact that it's in a completely different capacity or in a different role. So my official title is Senior Software Engineering Manager. And I have um, about, at this time, about six engineers in my team and continuously growing and looking, f building my team too, and <laughs> looking for the next people to join the team. Uh, and that has its challenges. So uh, probably if you're interested to hear about it, transitioning from software engineering position to from individual contributor to 
a management role I can probably talk about separately, but that's not what this, this, this video is about. In this video, I want to really quickly just give you the updates, what's going on and what can you expect from, from this channel, what it's coming. Um, quickly, what I gotta say, one of the things that I do miss a lot is I don't have a chance to write code as much as I wish. I practically, um, <laughs> practically at this time is not. I do code reviews, I look at the code, but I'm not the person to write the code. And I, I'll be honest, I miss that. And I'll have to find ways to actually get my hands on code. But what do I like uh, a lot is that previously when I was as in an ind individual contributor role as a software engineer, I wanted to participate more in architecture so, uh, discussions or meetings for products, um, system design and all that stuff. And I didn't have that luxury with previous experiences that I had and I wanted to do more of that. So now I have practically the majority of my time is spent on those kind of conversations like how do we architect this, how, what is the system design um, and all that, that stuff. So I like that aspect. So my ideal <laughs> a scenario would be to have a good combination of um, tech design, uh, architecture, conversation uh, sessions and stuff like that and actually to write the code, not just to spec it out and not uh, to design it and so on. So that's one of the challenge. Other challenge, like this, uh, this role is actually challenging in many ways. It's challenging me as a software engineer, um, as a principal probably. Um, it challenges me as a manager as well. As a, uh, it challenges professionally and personally. And uh, there are moments when I, I need to guide my team. I need to guide every single person and it's not always easy. Some people are really good at being self-starters, at understanding when they have to do course corrections. And some people, they just, they have a different style. I would leave it at that. And sometimes they don't take the feedback or the coaching as it should, because it's coming from a good place. But that being said, uh, I would leave it at that. So to where it comes to professional updates, what I'm dealing with and what are my challenges. And the other challenge is that now I'm on a manager schedule and it takes some used to. And I'm, if you have any suggestions how to make that work, how to transition from a maker schedule to a manager schedule and how to make that efficient, please let me know. Okay. So what else did I promise to talk about? Um, I, I did wanted to talk about what can you expect from this channel. So um, honestly, I want to post every week. Honestly, I want to bring really valuable <laughs> insights, share experience, tips and tricks of uh, what to do in software engineering. Do you want to learn to code? How to learn to code? Uh, how to grow in your tech career? And many more aspects of that. But sometimes just the nature is that uh, there are weeks that are super busy with days fully booked and there's just no time left for projects like YouTube and stuff like that. And sometimes I do get the chance to, to plan stuff, but um, sunny day scenario would be that um, I want to make a kind of a series of videos uh, that will be towards the people who are considering to learn to code, um, people who want to already know how to code, how to progress, um, how to not give up when you struggle with challenges and getting into errors and stuff like that. It's basically, I want to create a series of videos, kind of a coaching sessions for you. And the idea is that it will be for it should be applicable for everybody from the very, very beginning, beginner for from novice to to really advanced people, because we all are humans. And regardless of our level of experience, we all started from one place and we started from somewhere and we continue to grow and progress. Right. So uh, how to start, how to progress, how not to give up, how to set goals and uh, to to how to set a system to continue learning and stuff like that. So that's one of one of the goals 
and that might take a while to actually to make that but i'm curious if you are interested in seeing something like that if you're seeing interested in seeing like that just just give it a thumbs up if i get a lot of thumbs ups on this video i will assume that you're interested in in uh and a course like that. It's not something that will be paid or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I, it will be on this channel that I'm planning to to upload. So it will be free for everybody. And also, just in the meantime, the next month or so, um, I do, did video, I did record those videos, but I didn't have time to edit them yet. So they are work in progress. So uh, I have on <laughs> in the roadmap, um, how much do I spend um, in a week as a mom, um, a homeowner on a software engineering salary. Uh, the next one that I want to do is like the top 25 tech things that I'm used on daily basis. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, so stuff like that. Uh, yeah, right now my, my mind is drawing a blank. I don't know why I, I, I had, like I, I looked at my plan for the next week but for the next month i will say but yeah that's kind of what you can expect and as always i value your input and your requests and i do my best to to do them um and sometimes i will reply in the comment yes i'll do that next and i will post the video but i won't go back to the comment to refer to the video so i need to do better at that but if you don't want to miss the videos make sure to subscribe and have the notification bell turned on. So when I post the follow-ups from your comments or for your uh, requests, you get notified when they're uploaded. So that being said, I'm looking forward for your suggestions for what kind of videos would you like to see on this channel? If you want to, for me to do a Q&A, drop your questions as well. And yeah, I'm looking for your comments. I'm looking for your requests and questions if you have. So thank you again for being here. Thank you again for joining Holistic Developer Channel. I'm looking forward to where we're going <laughs> towards together. And hopefully the, the things that I'm planning to do will be something that is useful. So I will continue my morning with a hike and this kind of a little bit of woods here and then go and wake up my little bunny <laughs> and play with her. I hope you have an enjoyable weekend as well and thank you again. Bye bye. Oh yeah and don't forget to have fun, dance, sing, uh, paint, run, do whatever that brings you joy and makes you happy because life is short and if you don't make time for the things that matter to you, what's there to do then? If you really want to make a game, make time and cover the game, design it, develop it, prototype it, do an MVP, do something that will make you happy today, tomorrow, this week, this month, this year. It, everything is in your hands. Bye-bye.